Yo, 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 it's HBO, Insecure All Day. We're talking Issa Ray, all AKA Issa D. It's your girl MC on the twos and threes. We got Paula B, Oriana Lee. Hello. Oh, HBO, yeah. Insecure. We got two special peeps in the house tonight. Stay tuned. You want to find out who they are? No, no music. No. It's, oh, I'll oh we're waiting for freedom. It's coming. Okay, there we, it is. It's mm-hmm. coming. <laughs> freedom. Yes. There it is. Okay, it's coming. <laughs> freedom. Okay, this is Pharrell. I'm your girl Madison Chase, and we are talking, of course, about HBO Insecure Issa Rae, aka Issa D. And we got some special guests in the house, and you're gonna find mm-hmm. out later. But before we get to the special guests, we gotta talk to my co-host. Say hey to the people. Hey, I'm Paula Bryant Dallas. Hi, I'm Oriana Leo. You can find me on Twitter at Miss Oriana Leo. Okay, so we're going to get to the Twitter and the hashtags and all that good stuff later. So, who do we have in the studio? (gasps) Dun, dun, dun! I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. So, we have the two home records (laughs) in the house. But I absolutely adore Elon. Mm -hmm. I said it right? I was right. She never got it right, right? It's cool. It's all about the tone. Elon, Elon. The tone was very Uh welcoming. It was welcoming. Okay, Elon. And that means... What does that mean? Enthusiasm in French. Oh, it means enthusiasm you know yes. in French. Is there a that has to be a cologne? It means like strong tree. You are it actually nice. means one who is marked by distinctive yes. style or flair. Yes, Ooh. and you have flair my with mama. that. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> Shout out to your mom. For giving me something to, you know, reach mama out to. Mama Noel. Really? Yes, thank you. And and we can't like forget it. about the beautiful and talented. Yes. And, and the perfect boobs. We have to say. <laughs> Dominique, <laughs> she's making them bounce just in case you can't see her. But Dominique Perry, all the way in the ATL. Hey, welcome. Hey, how y'all doing? Good, yes. and you? I'm sorry I couldn't be there because I was filming underground. Yes, oh, that's so, well, poor you. you. Yes, yeah. poor you <laughs> filming <Yeah>. underground. <laughs> you say what? I said poor you. I'm being sarcastic. Cause I know, I know, amazing. filming underground. I know, horrible, right? Horrible. In this hotel. Yeah. It is, I know. It's, it's okay. okay. Well, we're excited you're joining us. Yeah, we're so yeah. excited. Okay, so we're going to start with the shoe cam, the ghetto Wendy Williams shoe cam. So can you pan down? We want to see your um, your shoes. Okay, wait yeah, a minute. Let's Let me see. just turn around here. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. I uh-huh. think I can. Okay, there yes! they are. Shoot. My grandma got those. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what? Well, guess what? Your grandma got some. She could. Yes. She could. <laughs> she has some taste. <laughs> what's up? Okay, hey, now. What's up? Hey, hey, hey. Awesome. Okay, uh, Lante. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I feel comfortable. <laughs> Oh, no. Right now we gotta see your shoes. Oh, okay, let's, let's, cool. Can you? you know, okay, you're, little... you're flexible because from the episode we saw you doing some flexible yeah, things. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, yoga, you, yoga, you, yoga works. Yoga uh, works. We're, His we're, camera, we're, your camera. Right here. Right. You see? Can, can right you see? Yeah. 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 Damn. Don't get the ankle the little, He said a little Lord. You get the shoes. Oh. Okay. He said, bring, bring it up again. again. Bam. Working that core. Work that core in them quads. We appreciate it. Okay. So, the name of this episode is Shady as Flip Flop. Flip Flop. Mm-hmm. Flip Flop Fudge, flip whatever flops. you call it. Yeah. Yeah, Flip Flop. Flip Flop. Hence your cute little yeah. bunny shoes. Uh, but I want to start yeah. with, like, who do you guys think was the shadiest on this episode? I have my my take, but I'm going to let you guys Ooh. do the honors. So. We're not going to talk about you two being shady. I mean, you can. If you think they were the shadiest. So, Paula, who do you think was the shadiest? I got to go first. You go first. Okay, Oriana, who do you think was the shadiest on this episode? I think Issa was the shadiest. Straight up. Uh, She just, she threw, she she resisted uh, for one second. And I was like, ah! All right! Yeah. <laughs> Clearly she needed yeah. it, but I mean, do you we think see. She needed it? it? Yeah, she it did. It wasn't that strong of a resistance <laughs> it wasn't either. Not. It was like, Oh wait! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, uh, I can oh. say I did that. At least. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's I mean, funny. Long. But it was right. Right. shady too. Now. It was Issa. Yeah. I'm sorry. For sure, it was Issa. You yeah. say Issa yeah. too. What do you say, Dominique? Who do you think was the shadiest on this episode? 
Let me pronounce your name. Is it Elon? Elon, right? Elon, Elon, like like Elon. Like, 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 Dang, I pronounced everybody's name right. Oh, good. I think, I think Elon. I got it right. Was it Daniel? I think Daniel. Probably. Daniel. <laughs> you could go with Daniel because Daniel, the Daniel. character. Well, Daniel is. I think that Daniel was a little bit of the shadiest. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Sorry. Just because I feel like. Um, I feel like he lured that a little bit, just a tad bit. Yeah. I don't think that Issa would have well, went all the way. you know Tasha was unless... trying to do some alluring her own <laughs> self. Thank you. And I'm at Best Buy. Thank you. With yes, the TV's was. talking about a battery. I need some batteries. Mm-hmm. No, I think he was looking for some batteries. I didn't see it. OK. So I was on my way to the, you know, to the bar or whatever. To get your I, poppers. I just had those out for you. <laughs> for the poppers. For the boys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, not for not for Lawrence. I would Not never for, do that. You would yeah. never. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> are Sasha's boobies, um, are they like claustrophobic? Do they need air? But, like, do they need oh. to be free? Is there a condition? You know here? what? A lot of times they do. Yeah. A lot of times yeah. they do. These seas need freeing just yeah. because. Yeah. <laughs> they need to breathe. Lawrence needed to see him. Yeah. Yeah. Lawrence needed to see him. Yeah. Again. He yeah. needed Again. a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, you were walking yeah. him when he was at the bank, so he did get a view at that. That moment, but you know, he was watching them. I know, yeah. right? yeah. they were out there. I was sending yeah. a lot of still images in my group message chat. Yeah. I was just going, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is hilarious. <laughs> What were the yeah, still- they were out. Yeah, well, we'll have to get to the still images. Okay, so I think the shadiest what of this thinking? episode was Chad, played by Neil Brown. Mm. Did you? I thought he was the shadiest wait, wait, because he- Leah, the girl that he's talking to that he's about to marry, marry. she's in- She's already married. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, we could do the uh, divorce and the, the prenup at the same, same time. Time, time like, management. What, what <laughs> right. is happening? Mm-hmm. How are you already married and you're mm-hmm. moving? on mm-hmm. I was I was I was done mm-hmm. I was like okay yeah. I think Issa oh, such a I think when you're in a bad relationship mm-hmm. it's yeah. hard for you and especially because you're the she's not in a guy. bad come on let's define bad that's not a bad relationship. No, okay not a bad a unfulfilling it's, relationship. Yes. it's unfulfilling okay. but it's not bad it's not bad mm-hmm. okay what, what, uh, you go know, ahead no perspective, man's perspective yeah Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, like, it, I, I feel like at this moment in time, it is an, it is an unfulfilling relationship. I mean, mm-hmm. it's that question, you know, yes. is the grass greener? Mm-hmm. Or is the grass greener where you water it? Mm-hmm. You know? She or found both. the cow patty real quick, didn't she? she? <laughs> <laughs> put out the astroturf, put her feet up. You know, the she, astroturf, uh, that's, that's not a good thing. It. That's how it always yeah. is. Yeah. Once yeah. you get over there, it is. Me personally, I think I think this, of this episode, Molly was probably the shadiest, in my opinion. Oh, oh See, now. that's why I wanted to ask that question. Yeah. I, I, I take oh, your perspective. Yeah, that because, is, yes. yeah, because here you have this this dude that she played. Yeah. Like, to the left. Yeah. To like the left. Heisman. Like, 100%, get out of here. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, in her time mm-hmm. in need, she co- you know she she comes to she she comes back to to the yeah. rescue, you know, like to try to pick gonna, up the pieces. Yes. And, you know, she she you know mm-hmm. after her her feelings got hurt, and that's well, and know, she that came to, me, to him like, drunk, yeah, drunk, yeah, yeah. off the late off the so late you know night what? tip. You know? I, I would move Molly it's, to number one. But you're you know right. what? That was, right. Yeah, like, that was a shady. Move. I feel like we all have had that situation. I'm sorry, I can't even hardly hear y'all talking. We can hear you. No, go ahead. It's all you. Oh, okay. I'm I'm just saying on Molly's defense, I feel like we. As women, I know me, I've had a situation where it's like, uh, the guy that you want is like, he won't act right, but then you got the other guy that's like, perfect. So it's like, what do you do at the end of the day? I know for me, it's been like that. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like you know, that- like it's like the, and then like how he treated her like at the end when he was like, what are you talking about? Like, I was just here to make. I'm like, what in the world? Are you talking about, talking about Chris? Chris. Chris. Yeah. To dinner? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But I think Paula had an interesting yeah. perspective because, first of all, let's go back to their first date. Like, mm-hmm. they met online, mm-hmm. and we mm-hmm. know, like, from the first or the second episode when they talked about dating apps and kind of breaking them all down, most people, especially men, tend to get on dating apps to actually, you know, mm-hmm. hit it and quit it. So mm-hmm. when he actually, when they actually, that actually happened, mm-hmm. and they slept together after the first date, and then he mm-hmm. got up, and then he kissed her, and mm-hmm. he was like, you know, like, if he had intentions on just being the hit it and quit it dude, I don't think he would have kissed her. He would have never showed up. He yeah. would have yeah. never, never showed, showed up. up. Never showed up. He Agreed. wouldn't have yeah, showed up. Yeah, that's true. He but tried see, to Molly... put on his cape and, you yes. know, save her. Now he did. He came and across she... as extremely kind. 
trying to send him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's that's. But that's what Molly does to you, right? Uh, she just like, eh, eh, and she can't let it go. She just mm-hmm. squeezes. She just so, squeezes. It's like one like, date. My God, you're killing the man. Yeah. And he still showed mm-hmm. up. Yes. And then she couldn't let it go, right? right. I mean, he was there. Mm-hmm. He rescued her. And then it was like, you mean, if I was Molly, I would have known that he was there to rescue me, and he did that just because that was a great thing that he did, right? Yes. 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 Are you the new so boyfriend? Awesome. And he goes, yeah. But then she gets, she's like, oh, did you really mean it? Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. Did you, did you think he meant it right. after one date? But that's the thing, too. I think when you look at black women in dating in this country, like, I think you said something about being thirsty. And then I started yes. to think about the difference between being thirsty and being dehydrated. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm well, let's, like, let's ponder on it. Let's ponder on this thing. Like, yeah. if you haven't had water at all, and the first time you get, like, a drop, you're like, oh, my God, yeah. that is the best water ever. Yeah. So I exactly. feel like that's where Molly is. But Molly I, does it with everybody. everybody. Because she wants yeah. to be in a relationship. She really wants it really, really bad. So the minute she gets, like, just a drop of water on her tongue when you're dehydrated, yeah. oh you're my like, God. oh, my God, this she's is She's going ass. about it in a little bit of a wrong way. She yeah. is. She's doing it a little bit too fast. And way mm-hmm. too fast. And she clearly yeah. feels like a relationship is going to be her salvation it when is. she yeah. needs to work on her Herself. damn self. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? So yeah. every, all of this energy she's putting out there, it's like she's just going to go down. I feel like she's going to go downward spiral because mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. relationship isn't going to save you mm-hmm. if you're not happy with yeah. yourself, if right. you're not proud of yourself, right? Yeah. yeah. And I yeah. thought it was interesting how when they showed her, like, getting up in the morning, how we saw all these kind of, like, labels. Like, you saw the AKA mm-hmm. thing on the wall. Right. Then right. you see her yeah, shoes. Yeah, all the designer shoes, shoes at the, the foot of the bed. shoes right. at the foot of the bed. So you see the things that are really important, important to her. her. Mm-hmm. But That's then true. when you talk about her and Jared, I think, why do, I don't know, I'm not going to say it's just women. I think it's men, too. Like, mm-hmm. sometimes we want what we think we can't have. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. you, you play this, like, dysfunctional kind of thing with yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, you want the thing that doesn't want you instead mm-hmm. of actually going for like she should have went for Jared mm-hmm. the whole that's time. That's what I was saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And you know it's interesting mm-hmm. too because with Jared she wasn't that aggressive. Did yeah, you notice right. that with Jared she wasn't exactly. as aggressive as yeah. she was with the things that she couldn't have mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and she was mm-hmm. just like it, it was like the fact it, um, a little bit like a turn on for her. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. The fact that she couldn't have them she, she became so much more aggressive and going after yeah. them mm-hmm. and then yeah. here was something someone who clearly was interested in her and right. she rejected him almost immediately. Yeah, I mean, she met him at the club mm-hmm. that she was she denounced that club and when they went to the Mavericks flat the mm-hmm. first, you know, the, right. the first pilot she was like Ain't nothing but like Crips and dudes uh-huh. and cornrows in here. So yeah. she, she met him in That's that true. environment. Mm-hmm. That's right. true. She's already like the context of him. He's, he's below right. me. Right. right. That's a good point. Um, yeah. That's a great That's a really point. Good point. I actually counseled a friend this weekend who's having boy problems, man problems, also an attorney, beautiful woman. Huh. And she admitted something that was interesting where she said, I just, I realized that I just want to win. Which is so interesting because I was actually watching the show with a guy. I was telling Lante that I was watching the show with my friend that happens to be a capo like him. And so he was saying the interesting thing about relationships was he said, man, that is it happens all the time where women just want someone to come and save them. And that's essentially oh. what he did. Oh, yes. but she couldn't take her truth. Mm-hmm. And he was telling her everything that was true right. about herself, but right. she couldn't take it. And I was like, mm-hmm. why did she tell him to leave? Like, well, I, I love the fact that he said, I felt like you needed a win. win. Yeah. <laughs> it took the wind out of me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, I felt just by proxy. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, to hear something yeah. like that. For me, yeah, I was like, was. oh. He, I, I, I just, I don't. He meant it in good intentions. I but think he I did. And like, I like the yeah. way he delivered her truth. I did. I he did too. He was still like nice about he, it. I thought he was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we think he might, the weekend might have been like a pity? flip-flopping weekend. I mean, the way he kind of came after it was like, you really needed this win. What was that whole mm. weekend about? Was she that just, desp- you know what I mean? That like, desperate. Mercy. Mm. That's a pity. I, I didn't take <laughs> it that way until after they woke up that morning. Yeah. That he, because his first uh, facial expression with mm. her, right? Yes. When they started having this, that's when he kind of started like going. pulling okay. back. Right, yeah. right. And she yeah. always misses it. She, she totally misses it. Yeah. Yeah. She's oblivious. Yeah. Yeah. She's totally yeah. oblivious. But, yeah. Yeah, I've just, I feel like he wouldn't have shown up if he really was just trying right. to lie. Yeah. I agree. Because, I mean, he, he got dressed. And yes. Yeah, she, 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 she kept was, pressing the issue. Yes. But I still like anybody who doesn't at least have a, a genuine interest mm-hmm. wouldn't, like, sure. right. put sure in the work. And then, be honest, you know, 
be, be honest, honest. When, when it came to But that's time. the thing, too. I think it's so interesting because we have gotten into a generation where we're so politically correct about everything mm -hmm. that we don't mm -hmm. really want to tell the truth. And when we do actually tell the truth, because you're telling the truth, your friends either get offended mm -hmm. and they no longer want to be, be your, your friend, friend mm -hmm. because they don't really want to see themselves yeah. or they don't really mm -hmm. want to hear the truth. And I think that's where Molly well, is. Truth like, hurts. It yeah. does. Right. Yeah. Truth hurts. And is we all being, have to take that look in the mirror. It's a hard. It's a hard thing to do. I was going to say, is it being yeah. politically correct or is it non-confrontational? It's. I think it's non-confrontational. Non yeah. yeah, I agree. But Avoiding I, the truth because we don't like being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 No, I'm just. I'm just looking. When I say politically correct. I think when it's kind of like when you look at kind of the way we are like in politics, mm -hmm. if you're for something, that means you're against something. Yeah. If you like the Cowboys, that means you hate the Eagles. If you like right. AKAs, that means you hate Deltas. Deltas. Like it's like there's this hard stance that you have to take that makes no sense. That yeah. makes right. no exactly. sense versus yeah. you know the truth of the reality. So one of the things that me and my friend that were watching this together, you know, I have a dog, and so Molly oh. has a dog, and so. <laughs> You have a doggy too? What's your doggy's name? A, Yor a Yorkie, oh, Bentley. Bentley, yeah. I love it. That's so cute. Yeah. So here's the thing, <laughs> play uh, play. Dominique, right? Play the play. <laughs> the the guy, the, the chain on the neck, hysterical. Oh, but my friend was like, you got to get rid of that dog. He was like, no man really wants to be with a woman that kind of has this, you know, dog if you're a single woman. I was like, well, here's the thing you have to understand about women mm. and dogs. Women naturally have this maternal mm -hmm. thing where we have to nurture or something. Yep. I was like, exactly. so where you see it as this Hollywood, I'm trying to be like Paris Hilton, I'm really trying to nurture something. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. So he was saying that men don't want to be with women because he of was, He was like, that could be a turnoff because well, I Well, I, I know a, a lot of guys that I've um, come in contact with uh -huh. don't like my dog. And really? it's like, what is the problem? Yeah. Mm. It's because, well, it's because they can't handle the uh, divided the attention. Competition. Yeah. The competition. Yeah. Uh, competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a dog, but... Mm. But I exactly. do have to say that this guy might have a point when it comes to the dog jumping on the bed. Yes, Because that's been that. an issue of, like, mm -hmm. if you don't have boundaries right. with boundaries. your animal, I would agree with that. then mm -hmm. that dog is going to be in bed with you. Yes. yes. Right? And that yeah. may not be your yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's true. I agree with that part. That's for interesting. Sure. For yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I have to learn that because I've even told someone, hey, if you can't accept my dog, then... You can't accept me. Right. Because right. we are total package. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fair. Yeah. I think it's fair. I think that's package totally fair. Here. Totally <laughs> fair. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we, we'll get back to the show. Uh, favorite scene for you, uh, Paula? Favorite scene? Let me think about it. My favorite scene. I love when... Um, I actually enjoyed the Roscoe scene, to be I honest. I was going to mm -hmm. say, Me that too. was one of my favorite yeah. scenes, even though I can't stand, I mean, Neil Chad. Brown Chad. Mm -hmm. Chad. I was like, <gasps> but he's interesting. But I like him. I like I his do. character. I like him because he's honest with You know what I love his best his... line was? I, I think we have the same best line. Go ahead. I took her to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like that was confirming. I but love this her. Is I took her to it. the airport, right? right? Yes. And he really means it. He meant like, it. He's just like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. He, like, he believes it. He was so convinced. Okay, but when was the last time you took we... someone to LAX? Because I, I took someone to LAX. I, that would be love. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know you are so on my page because I'm like, the only yeah. people I pick up from the airport is my mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's, that's it. it. And well, you that's got how to be sad. He's like, man. Took to, to the, the airport. airport. Yeah. Because yeah. in L.A., that's like that's really a like deal. That's a big that's a deal. Commitment. That's you're, a big deal. Right. It you're is. looking at like three hours. Yes. Like a three-hour that, drive. That's why, it, that's why it's funny. A lot of my friends that watch the show, you know, because initially when you see a show like this, it's okay, it's going to be about a lot of girl relationships. Mm -hmm. When I saw Chad's episode two, I was like, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> like, I knew mm -hmm. I knew him. I, like, my, my mom was just like, okay, now, nah, okay, cool. We got we got one. We yeah. got one. Yeah. Who it is. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and, and, you know, you just, you just relate to him in a different way like you do yeah you I totally think so too. do yeah. you totally do so that was your mm -hmm. favorite scene i think so yeah it was. and i think we see lawrence in that scene like really getting an understanding of like he is really twisted like i'm not taking advice from him like i see his mind like calculated like mm -hmm. that's what you think a relationship is but i also is? think he triggered some thought in um lawrence in that um i can't remember how he posed the question but What's taken you so long? Or mm -hmm. well, the fact that he, he hasn't come to this point with Isa, right? right? He's like, right. He's like mm -hmm. we're getting married. Whoa! And he's like, yeah. Right. When you know, yeah. you know. And it kind of did seem like, yeah. He went, oh God, I don't know if I do. Know. I not know? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. He's feeling like he has to get his stuff together, together. before mm -hmm. he can, you know. Mm -hmm. 
but I like take care Neil's life. response. Get your stuff together right. together. together. Right. Love that response. Which yeah. wasn't expected yes. necessarily from, from Neil, the guy who's, right? you know, from who Chad, just, the character Chad. Yeah. The nuances, that's why the writing is so it's crazy. It's so yeah. amazing, right? It People is really... People that really... you don't expect to surprise you end up surprising you. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I was happy to yeah. see that realization on Lawrence's face that he mm-hmm. realized, like, wait a minute, I can do mine because he was like, we yeah, we're doing do it that together. together. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah. We could totally do that together. Um, so. Which is, mm-hmm. uh, you know, from a, um, a journey with a relationship, it's a great thing to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I, mean, I, I think it strengthens you. My husband was in the military and we traveled all over the world together. Oh. And um, oh. it, I know. one of the <laughs> ma- most amazing things was that as we were traveling, when we would get to a new city, Mm-hmm. It would just be the three of us. We mm-hmm. wouldn't know anyone. Mm-hmm. And so we would spend so much time out scouting the city oh, together, wow. right? We'd get in the car on Sundays mm-hmm. and we'd go for these drives and we'd check out neighborhoods where we wanted to buy a house. Mm-hmm. But that was like, we even still talk about that time together now because it was just the three of us. Right. And you're, mm-hmm. you're together and you're bonding and you don't have any friends, but you know, it's kind of that military lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So when yeah. you're going through and you're building that together, mm-hmm. I think it's a very powerful thing. Yeah. It's powerful. Right. But I think when we see relationships, we tend to see, like, the really, you know, the Jay-Z and Beyonce. We see these famous relationships, mm-hmm. and we don't really know the whole process yes. of how mm-hmm. it got started. Right. So mm-hmm. we tend to romanticize mm-hmm. yep. what the process actually looks, looks like, like. Mm-hmm. whereas Lawrence and Issa D are actually going through the process. Right. But Molly is kind of, like, imagining what it's supposed to be like. Oh, you're supposed mm-hmm. to leave some stuff after a one-night stand. You're supposed to leave <laughs> a bag at my house. Like, no, Molly, that's yeah. not the way it works. Yeah. Right. Um, but I want to talk about Issa Rae and the, I love how she always kind of infuses like the YouTube audience. So mm-hmm. we see the YouTube video and it, I think it had like 918 views. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah. that's interesting. Mm-hmm. So we get a chance to see her and then we see you trying to come to the rescue to save her. And mm-hmm. I was like, mm-hmm. I already saw it happening. Like when I saw them Me getting too. together. I saw it too. Oh, you I was saw like, it too. I, yeah. I almost dropped it like two weeks ago because you know I had a chance to know the whole storyline. And there's times when we're talking and I go, huh. mm-hmm. Maybe not. Right. Yeah, yeah. But so, but was he there to rescue her? I feel like well, he has an agenda. I he had totally an agenda. agree he, yeah. on multiple fronts. Mm-hmm. This is really interesting. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, have, I have a question. Okay. You. Okay. What would his agenda be necessarily? Well, Wait. So first, I think um, he accomplished it, so he going to he came to the rescue. Mm-hmm. So I did he come to the rescue, or was he asked? Was something asked of him mm-hmm. of a friend mm-hmm. that he felt, you know, he needed he to, had do. to reciprocate and yeah. do that? I mean, simple similar things to the career day thing. Like he was asked to do yes. that. Yeah, that's true. And I think he, he was came, asked, and he then came. he. So he, was, he, he stood up. He enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. He enjoyed being For sure, asked, he enjoyed right? it. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. Because he has a, he, he likes it. Yes. Issa. He yeah. has a genuine interest in Issa. Yeah. Here's the thing, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Daniel yeah, Slander, the Daniel Slander has, has to stop. Okay? <laughs> because I'm not, you know, I'm not appreciating, appreciating people saying that he's not husband material and all oh, that. Oh, is that what people are well, you know, saying on Twitter? Well, it's, no. just, well, it's just that people see him coming in the periphery. Right. Like, and yeah. they see Lawrence building himself up and he's mm-hmm. in the midst of the struggle. So anybody who comes, yeah. you know, who's like kind of got things going for him, now mm-hmm. that we have empathy for Lawrence, a built-in empathy for Lawrence, oh, right. yeah. it's going to seem like, you That's know, the, it, 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 the humanity in us, especially one, we wanted the relationship to work between the both of them because we like them. Yeah. Yes. And then just seeing right. Lawrence struggle and, and do all, everything. And, and also the fact that he wants the relationship is stiff-arming, you know, mm-hmm. Tasha and all right. that. <laughs> Like, <laughs> but it's only heightened, right, yeah. by the fact that Molly, on the other side, right, can't find this guy. Right. And so you have Lawrence over here who wants, he's the guy who's wanting everything to work. And yes. he's, yeah. he wants to present himself in a good light yeah. for Issa, even though they're living together, or as my mother would say, shacking. <laughs> but you have Yeah, yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you're right. You, it puts you, your character, Daniel, right, in this yeah. almost... Almost no win situation. It's, it's, it's a hard mm-hmm. thing to Yeah. Do. I'm looking at the agendas a little different because okay. I think he 
really knows her and he really gets yeah. her from mm-hmm. the past. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And sometimes we grow up and we think that we've grown up. We think that we're different. And a lot of times we're not. We're really just are that same kid. We might have the same passions. Mm. The way he's pushing her to rap. to rap and yeah. to flow and to like be creative. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she's so creatively stunted in every other part of her life. Like uh. I see him as a champion for her of like interesting. But yeah. this opens up a whole Wait, other... okay, so you're saying I'm saying it's like I think pro positive. Okay, when I thought the agenda, I mean like you have like alternative agenda of him just trying to get it. But you're no, saying I'm like, saying I think he really likes is, her. I think he really has feelings for her. He right. really he knows she's not happy. Mm-hmm. And he sees all this talent and potential that is just like being wasted and he wants to bring it out. And she's yep. so happy when she's doing it that I'm like, this mm-hmm. look this is such a exciting but opportunity. But isn't that that slippery slope we it talked is. about? Well, that's last why week. she was shady mm-hmm. AF because <laughs> yeah. she didn't have to go through with it. This she's is right. that moment of like, oh my that's gosh, right. I do feel like this, but it's not right. Let me get yes. my shit together before right. I do this. And she right. didn't, you know? That's and right. so, right. Yeah. yeah. But I can see why you want to take your clothes off for a man that supports your creativity. Just yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's fine, Daniel. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good. That's, That's a good, good one. I agree. I want to give like you like that. a hug right now. Like, 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 yes. Yeah. Right. See, if you were on Twitter, she could have sent that Check out. Sent it out. Yeah. yeah. I got to start gonna, my account. You're going to start your so Twitter does, account. So does Tasha have an agenda? I'm glad you asked, Tasha. You know what? Tasha doesn't have an agenda. Tasha just sees that Lawrence is a good man, and mm-hmm. he's struggling. And she's a good listener. Yeah. And she's a real good confidant. And she knows, she's the type, she knows that, you know, he has somebody. So it's okay for her to get friend zone. She's okay with playing her role. Mm. But at the end of the day, I mean, she is attracted to him. So she did try to try her luck, but, you know, it didn't really work. But I've been getting people telling me, like, oh, my God, like, I hope that you sleep with Lawrence because... (laughs) I'm so mad at Issa. Like, I've been getting that all yeah. last night. Yeah. Oh, wow. definitely want the tip. I think, yeah. I think want, it's going to be a tit for tat. They I want totally the think. It's like I'm on top right now, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's how I feel. Like, that's what people have been playing me to be. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really a home record situation as much as I thought it yeah. would have been yeah. to people. Yeah. That's a good point. That is a very good point. Because it had yeah. to be awkward. I mean, you knew that, right, when you walked in there looking for them batteries, wink, wink. Um, <laughs> yeah, that I knew he had it. someone, I knew right? It. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. She, she's definitely trying to, mm-hmm. to play, but she's still playing her role. She's trying on, on the slick. But now here's the thing. Yeah, she so, can't help the feelings that she has for him. Right. And, Understandable. So if, okay, let's just say that you were actually to get with Lawrence, right? Like, he breaks up, he finds out Issa actually slept with uh, Daniel, and then you actually (laughs) get him when it's a slippery slope, when he's not really feeling comfortable. Would you feel comfortable, as a character, of course, getting a man that was kind of on the outs on a relationship? Because I always ask myself that question. Mm -hmm. Like, if you, the way you get a man Mm -hmm. is the way you tend to lose lose them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, talking about Tasha, what what do you think? I I don't think that a lot of, I think that her character kind of, she's on the fence about that and she knows that because she's Mm -hmm. really smart. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, she's kind of not really caring. I don't Mm -hmm. think she really cares. I, I think she's just trying to get him but still play her role. Like, it's very complicated what she's going through right now. Mm-hmm. Ah, so we don't know her I, backstory. Mm-hmm. We don't know. And that's what's, <laughs> in, that's what's interesting about these characters that yeah. we play. We don't know um, who, like, for instance, with, with Issa and Daniel, we don't know the 12 years and the shared history until mm-hmm. he that's starts true. talking about Jack and Box and the romantic mm-hmm. summers. Yes. Right. And, and he the starts taco posing his trucks. Own, the taco yeah. trucks and he starts yeah. posing his own what if, what if questions. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, and we have a very, you know, it's a 30 minute show too, so we have like a very small yeah. amount of time yes. to get to know these yes. characters. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, you know, especially you know, with, 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 with Daniel, like he's like, yes, now's my time to, to, to tell you how I feel about you. And he finally sees right. the moment, which is, it's, it's quite natural for yeah, him yeah. to, feel attracted to Issa. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, the unnatural thing was for things to lead to lead up to where they mm-hmm. did and him not <laughs> present himself. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I like himself. how you said that, present himself. Yeah. Okay, so then I have a question for you guys. If you know, so, if you have feelings for someone that mm-hmm. is in a, let's just say it's a bad relationship, whether it's bad, it's just unfulfilling, but it's pretty much over to everyone outside of it. Like, 
if you have feelings for that person, do you go for it? Do you just keep your mouth shut and wait until they ride this out and see, like, what's the right thing to do? You mean oh. like Daniel in the relationship because Issa was already there? Yeah, or, but same with but same with Sasha. Oh, like, she's putting Tasha. herself out Tasha? there. Tasha, sorry, mm -hmm. she's putting herself out there because mm -hmm. she's picking up this vibe that like he's yeah. not mm -hmm. satisfied, right. he's not fulfilled, mm -hmm. and so what do right. you do? I mean. You know, Issa says, like, I wish you had said something to Daniel, right? Like, right. I wish you'd said something at the time. Right. So, right. after college. What do you do? Yeah, like, you know, you don't want to be a homewrecker. You don't want to disrupt anything. But if you don't make yourself known, you have to live with that. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's a personal decision. I mean, I personally, in my personal life, I wouldn't, like, broadcast my interest on, on somebody who's taken. Mm -hmm. uh, right. But I mm -hmm. do understand. You know, I just believe in timing. Right. Yes. So timing is yep. like it, yeah. it's a key yeah. thing, especially something like a relationship. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think the history free. too, like twelve mm -hmm. years is a long time yeah. to know it someone, is. especially yeah. the formative years mm -hmm. too. Right. And that's why this particular um, scenario with Daniel and Issa, that's why it's particularly challenging because of this shared history. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and him knowing, her, like you mentioned, like he knows who she is in yes. ways that. Yeah. You know, to, quite, to be Lawrence honest, Lawrence know. might not even know about mm -hmm. it. Like that couch mm -hmm. is, it knows, okay, yeah, it's cute. It knows a lot, a lot of shit. Right, right, right. It's, it's spilling <laughs> stuff. But like, the couch don't got, right and it was. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the couch don't got nothing on like right. experiences that right. they and Issa shared. Like when they were really, like before they had to be adults. And, yeah. Yes. You know, pay mm -hmm. bills and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, and I'm, in, I'm, I'm a little biased, but. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So we it. maybe not home wrecker because then nobody's technically married, so we can't say that you guys. I was are wondering like the terminology. Home wrecker, yeah, home wrecker. Mm -hmm. I was just being facetious. Oh, that no, only but goes I've to always, marriage. That only pertains to marriage. I would, yeah, I just I didn't know. Think, no, living I've, I've heard it. And I've yeah, just, if, I've you're always if you're breaking up a home, whether you're home. married or not, or not you know. Yeah, so that's true. Literally, it's literally home wrecker. He's getting that milk. That's true. That's true. Very true. I thought it was interesting Lawrence's response. I like I thought it was that's funny, Paula. I don't hate I'm too. not there to see what is going on. <laughs> You'll have you to know, watch the video later. My girlfriend's mother, she was living with this guy and she wanted to get married so bad and he was totally not interested in popping the question. He was living with her and her mother, so she's telling her mother this story and she wants to get married. She, and her mother says, I don't understand why you think he would run after the bus when he's already sitting on it. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> That's a Message. Good analogy. <laughs> I was like, Great wow. analogy. I was but like, your mother said that? She's like, my mama, mother just told me that. Mama was going to let her have it. But we got to get back to the scene of you in the marriage. studio because mm -hmm. the guy mm -hmm. who cute was actually, you said cute your heart. No, I was going to talk about Issa Rae's brother, Enemal. Oh, yeah. Enemal, mm -hmm. yeah. Enemal He's is actually, mm -hmm. he played in that scene. I was like, that's so interesting. So his Enemal is actually his name backwards. Yeah. And mm. I thought it was interesting. Like, yeah. she was like, it's so monotonous. So I love how <laughs> she always, like, infuses mm -hmm. YouTube and that audience, like, kind of her foundation. Well, she of how talked she about, like, started. you know, starting her uh, YouTube show was her basically trying to get her something brother. going for her brother mm -hmm. who was rapping at that yeah. time with his friends. So. The irony of that mm -hmm. scene is, like, because he plays like this garbage rapper. But right. He's yeah. dope in real life. Yeah. Like, dope. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was like one of my favorite scenes. That was super yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he's, 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 that rap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. That right. rap was the bomb. And he comes out and you killed the deceased. <laughs> like, I was over there dabbing. You was dabbing? I was like, hey. Yeah. And Issa's face when she does like the little stinky face, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, the, yeah. yeah, that's not good. Let's mm -hmm. go back and do that again. Mm -hmm. So I totally love that she always includes. But that's like, I think, a lesson in life. Like sometimes when you want something, if you help somebody else, mm -hmm. you end up ultimately getting what you want in mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. And so because she had this passion and she put it towards her brother, look at what she's gotten. Right. Like, this is such a lesson in life, I think, anyway. So mm -hmm. that's just me. Um, I have a question about this scene. Was that about double or was that you? Oh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so there's, so there's no, there's no CGI. There's no. That was all. That's me. Okay. Oh. Just to say. Good work. Oh, good work. Yeah, nah. Just like, yeah. good work. He know he was he was in the gym probably like three times oh, a day. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that is as funny. soon as I got the script, I mean, I had like four weeks, four and a half weeks to prepare for that. He said four it's weeks. Four and, a, four and a half weeks. But I mean, two a days. And like, yeah, I, I, you I get, get big. I, I get big. Do you? Though. I was gonna say you had to start quick. like with a really good foundation. I had a good foundation. Because you saw yeah. every muscle in your body. Really I was like, you know what I loved about that scene? What? 
that here's Issa who can do these raps about broken. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But their 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 intimate scene was very modest. It was. Notice? She kept that her bra on. And it was yes. it was so intimate. Like that yes. was something I really got from it. Was like yeah. these two. Yeah. It's this is not very. just physical. Like there is yeah. really something there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys. <laughs> I thought it was going to be just nothing but like <laughs> bashing. And then some of that was just justified. Yeah, just a little bit. But, uh, yeah. No, it's, I mean, it's, it's great. just, it's, you know, it, it makes sense. That was all that pent up <laughs> yes. years of, we got we to gotta see where this is going to mm -hmm. go. Yeah. Yeah. They definitely have way more history than Lauren. Oh, did. absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. then, didn't you say? A different say? kind of history. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. It's a different exactly. kind of history. Yeah. Because, wait, didn't she say that they were friends with benefits? They were friends with benefits. Mm -hmm. In college, In right? College. In college. Right. That yeah. means that you guys were sleeping together. Yeah. Well, yeah, so this wasn't the first time. I mean, it had been the first Probably time in a years. long time. Mm -hmm. Four years, time. years yeah, maybe. Yeah, and it's uh -huh. ambiguous how much time was spent. But there's a, there's a level of intimacy that has been shared prior mm -hmm. to right. this right. moment. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing is, like, if... if if it was always just about like some physical, that's sort of, true. Like mischievous plan, right? Like, a woman, right? right. <laughs> you know, he's already. Daniel done has that. options, I'm sure. Well, yeah, he, and he you might know? have options. And that's another thing is like, he seems like he's confident in his ascendancy as a as a producer. Mm -hmm. So you get to like your late twenties, you start to you start to say, okay, well, what? Who do I trust? Who knows me prior mm -hmm. to this success? Yep. Mm -hmm. and I think the circle start, of trust closes. Starts to, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Mm -hmm. I think that time. Daniel kind of just popped up in Issa's life at an awkward time, so mm -hmm. it leaves her a little bit of what do I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like if he would have popped up before Lawrence, it would have been gravy. Like, they probably mm -hmm. would have been together. Mm -hmm. But since Maybe. now she has Lawrence and he pops up, it's like, oh, God. Well, it's the like timing, the too, right? are here. Her, with her and Lawrence, he yes. comes back when her and Lawrence are on the down. Right. right? Exactly. And, that, yeah. and so she's vulnerable. Yep. Exactly. And she's looking for affirmation in all the wrong places. Mm -hmm. And so that's exactly. why, yeah, that's why it's, it becomes just a slippery slope. There's nowhere to go with that. And then he yeah. knows he's the what if guy. Because yeah. he actually mm -hmm. brings that back mm -hmm. around to mm -hmm. her, which I thought was interesting. Now, I love how in this scene, I think Melina Masukas actually shout yeah, shout out to her. But you oh, get my gosh, yeah. the, shout out to her, and then shout out to Felicia Leatherwood who did Issa's hair. Oh, I was yeah. like, she, yes. She does. Every she time does a I see job. her, I'll be like, yo. Yeah, <laughs> she does. When I grow my hair out, she, she does. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just the whole yeah. thing. I was like, I love it. Um, but you in this scene, I think, uh, no, who was I talking about? Tasha. Damn. Tasha. Oh, Tasha and Danielle. I think, I love how they played, how Melina kind of played the two scenes against each other. Like, mm. you'll see Daniel yeah. and Issa, and then you'll see Molly. Lawrence, mm -hmm. and uh, then yeah, you'll see Tasha. Molly. Mm -hmm. And so you have, like, just kind of like figuring out, okay, where am I in the scene? I think everybody intuitively puts themselves in one of those situations. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. am I Issa? Am I Molly? Am I Tasha? Am I Daniel? Am I Chris? Am mm -hmm. I Lawrence? Mm -hmm. Like, you instantly kind of figure out who you are in the mm -hmm. scene, and it makes sure. And a lot of us has been in, like, each one of those yes. things. Yes, pretty much. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It was totally. the weirdest yes. thing for me watching it because here yeah. I am, I you know, mm -hmm. I am the guy who mm -hmm. is enabling, like, the <laughs> most... The, the betrayal. I mean, I mm -hmm. was just like, oh, mm -hmm. no, he used to make it. I mean, I, I had to distance myself a little bit because yeah. I'm looking at Lawrence, and I'm just like, damn, bro, like, I hate to, hate to be you, you know? Right. Because, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you said something interesting. You said that you thought initially this show was just going to be for women, but then you saw that it I saw really, a lot of myself. Yeah, for, I was, so my homies, they, they sort of like, relate to Chad but for from when I read the pilot mm -hmm. I was like yeah Lawrence mm -hmm. like I you know I auditioned mm -hmm. for Lawrence like Lawrence was like the guy I was like oh yeah no this mm -hmm. is like at that point in time it was me so you I, said I related that. to yeah. him 100% uh -huh. yeah. yeah that's yeah. a great role Lawrence has a great yeah, role it's, it's and it's great. just started and it's just started it's only four episodes yeah, yeah. 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 it's gonna be great journey. it's gonna be great we heard mm -hmm. episode 8 I can't wait for the season finale but we're, we're oh from that. yeah yeah but I wanna it's talk it's gonna be awesome what'd you say it's gonna be awesome Yes. It is. It's just going to be a good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, but we haven't really talked about Molly and Chris and Jadena. I think I don't know if he has more episodes, but I think he's going to come back. Hmm. I you feel think? like he's Jadena. Gonna, yeah, Jadena. I feel like he's going to mm -hmm. come back because uh, I thought with you, your perspective on him, like he came to save her. Mm -hmm. She may not have wanted to hear her truth. Mm -hmm. 
but it was what it was in the fact, you know, from a guy's perspective. And that was the interesting thing, too, because I was actually watching this with a guy. So to hear mm -hmm. a guy's perspective watching this mm -hmm. thirsty woman, mm -hmm. but you said... <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> Sounds like some creature. I know, right? She's like, ah, yeah. thirsty. So Dehydrated. Dehydrated. I like dehydrated. dehydrated. Yeah, because a lot of women she are is. dehydrated in this mm -hmm. world. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. You know, yeah but she can't even recognize it. So how do you help her? Because she can't even... Mm -hmm. You know, if you are dehydrated and you see water, it's amazing when it touches your lips, mm -hmm. but it's you understand best. it's water and you can't just gulp it down because That's it will true. physically make you yeah. sick, right? That's you true. have to accept it in moderation. Mm -hmm. right. Who is going to help Molly determine moderation? Because she mm. can't keep accosting every single person that speaks to her, winks at her, mm -hmm. or flirts That's with true. her, or goes on a date with her. That's She's true. so overbearing in those relationships. She is. Yes. Part of it, I think, is I like the attorney aspect of it. Like, when that Issa is hysterical. in the office, like, can you be my attorney? And she's like, well, who posted it? You know, well, I don't know. That. And she's shaking the pa paper clips, and she's like, what, you got to work? She's, she's like, like, yes, like, I'm a real yeah, ass I'm attorney. Real, like, yeah, yeah. I have a good job. Who am I going to threaten? That was my favorite part there's of this yes. episode. Right, I yeah. love that scene, because there's this real like dichotomy between you know the seriousness of her career mm -hmm. and how how you know her expertise mm -hmm. right her domain versus where Issa's mm -hmm. at where she's not feeling maybe that valuable or mm -hmm. or valued where yes. she is mm -hmm. and we know right. that Molly like is the real deal when but it comes to her personally, job personally Molly needs something that gives her self awareness right uh -huh. mm -hmm. Molly it's interesting to me the mirror I love yes. the whole symbolism behind mm -hmm. the mirror mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, I think Molly is one who needs to spend some time in front of a mirror because her self reflection mm -hmm. is going to be hard for her to absorb mm -hmm. yes right? That, right she's got to have that moment yeah. and um, interesting enough just like Issa did uh -huh. right in the bathroom yep after mm -hmm. she turns and she finds the soap dish. Right. <laughs> right. I love that part. Oh, my God. That part yeah. was Very powerful. My favorite. Right. Very powerful. Yeah. But she had that moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because she before, she's always in the mirror wrapping mm -hmm. and pumping herself up. up. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Right. And Molly mm -hmm. needs that same self awareness. It's just like how to, how, you know, it'll be interesting to see how she gets it how she finds as she's it. on her journey. And we, we all know have those too. friends that you're like, they're never gonna get it. Right? <laughs> You're like, I love you for who you are, and it's probably never gonna improve. <laughs> right, but it's okay. You're still my friend. Yeah. yeah, you're right. But I noticed too, like in this episode, when she's kind of comfortable in the relationship, she's mm -hmm. not pumping herself up, she's not doing the rap. She's definitely like more reflective when she's when things are going good, and so mm -hmm. that's an interesting perspective. That when we, things kind of mellowed out with her and Lawrence, yeah, you're saying the mm -hmm. rounds. Mm, yeah, interesting. That's true. That's yeah. true. Just five yeah. minutes. Okay, yeah. so mm -hmm. yeah, so Dominique, you said that you're working on Underground. So yeah. what else do I you am. have coming up that we need to know about? It's literally just underground right now. I've just been filming that for some weeks now. And then after that, I'm just going to go back to L.A. and just relax. You're going to yeah. relax. So nothing coming up as of right now, but just underground. Underground. Thank you. you said just underground. I know. Just a it'll really be, it'll amazing be, show. I'm like, girl, Maybe. you are in insecure right. and underground. underground. Let's Maybe. try that I one more right. time. You know, you know the, the strange thing about me, I'm just, once I do something, I'm kind of like, what else? Like, I'm never satisfied. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what else? You know, that's mm -hmm. just how I am. So when I say just, I'm just kind of like, I'm ready for the next thing. But definitely, like, it's credibility there. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I love that I'm on Underground. Yeah. And Secure yeah. already is speaks amazing. Levels, so. yeah. yeah. Huge. And I think that's great, too, because you're on shows that are so different. Mm -hmm. yes. Completely. Yes. And I said that, and I wanted to do a period piece. I've always wanted to do, like, a period show or a period film. Mm -hmm. Something that kind of helps me, because I'm always playing, like, the girl next door type or something mm -hmm. it doesn't really give me a place where I can really act sure. so it's good that underground gave girl me next door I don't know voluptuous mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. right I, you're the voluptuous <laughs> yeah. girl you're the, you're the big <laughs> thing kind of <laughs> yeah Unattainable you're that sassy girl. voluptuous girl <laughs> yes. yeah girl. yeah I'm always that I'm like okay I She's, love it you're right <laughs> You're right, that's totally. Now, we want to yeah. know where we could find you on your social media because I know you have Instagram, yes. but the question is do you have Twitter? I don't have Twitter. Okay. I don't get Twitter. 
I need Twitter and I need Snapchat. I okay. feel like everybody's telling me to get those two. I'm definitely on the Instagram, though, at Dominique P. Dominique okay. P. Okay, mm -hmm. so... D-O-M-I-N-Q-U-E-P. P. Okay, awesome. we got it. So we'll keep up with uh, Underground and be watching yes. for you on Underground. Yes. Now, and the premieres in March. In March. Okay. okay. Great. Yes. March. We'll be looking out for you in March. <laughs> Thank and, you. Uh, Elon. Um, Elon. Lante. Elon, Elon. Lante. 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 Yeah, That's we know. a great name. Isn't that a great name? Well, heck yeah. Man. Yeah. So we want to know where we could find you on your social media <sighs> handles. I, I just, I know. So I don't, know I don't have any, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, 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 I think, I'm thinking about getting a Snapchat. You're thinking about getting yeah, Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat. No Instagram? You should get, you no should Instagram. get an Instagram. You should totally People do Instagram. People be mad if I get an Instagram. It's not going to be nothing but like green smoothies and recipes for life. <laughs> That's why your body <laughs> looks like that. Let me tell you. That's the great. Day the, premiered, the day that uh, Insecure premiered, my best friend texted me, and was like, girl, who in the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Lante might oh, be a hookup. Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. mm -mm. <laughs> Love connection. Love connection. <laughs> yes. Okay. So it'll be better than getting on an app. It'll be much better than getting on the league. It sounds like. Yeah. I hear there's a wait list. On league? There is yeah. three months. Is it really is true? On, are you, are you on, on the league? I'm not. I'm no. not. It makes sense. Yeah. I love that you're old school. High five for the old school dudes out there. I love that. We like that about you. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So you guys, where can we find you on your social media? I have to ask Jay if he's on any. <laughs> I've never asked that question oh, before. That's a good question. Mm. Mm. You can find me on Twitter at Miss Oriana Leo and Instagram at Oriana Leo and also Tilt by Oriana, my fitness business. All righty. And how about you, Miss Paula? I'm Paula Bryant Ellis, and you can catch me on Instagram and Twitter, P. Bryant Ellis. And I'm your girl, Madison Chase, and you can find me on YouTube at One Mad Chase, on Twitter at Madison Chase Fit, and on Instagram, Madison Chase Fitness. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned because we're going to have some special guests in the house next week for episode six yeah, HBO yeah, yeah. Insecure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you guys for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Do I hang up? From executives Kevin Undergaro, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us. Info at BlackHollywoodLive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live, Scipio, Instagram at KingXO Bay. Thanks for tuning in. The views expressed here are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.